first location we headed to was Brinkashide, in English, the mound in the dark grove. It's got a bit of a gruesome history to it. It was first explored seriously in 1865, and it was fully searched in 1928, and it revealed a long and complex history. It was built over 5,000 years ago, and it was used as a burial chamber. Uh, it consists of a long passage that leads to a polygon stone chamber, and in that chamber, human bones, both burnt and unburnt, were found in the passage of the tomb. Other finds were very few. What sets Brinkashide apart from the other tombs in Anglesey is that the only one to be accurately aligned to coincide with the rising of the sun on the longest day of the year. You can visit Brinkashide without having to book and it's completely free and it's only a short walk. So if you feel like you need to visit Anglesey, it's a location that is a must to go to. The monument we're about to uh, step inside is 5,000 years old and it's called Brin Brinkashide. Bryn Cashide. Um, the claims here is that there, there was remains found um, and it's an ancient burial place basically I barely fit in here I'm so wide I have to crouch to come into this place yeah there's a photo of somebody there I'm not going to zoom into it Not much to see in here. Is that a fake yeah. cat? Oh my f that is so scary. Yeah. If I'd have seen that if you weren't in here, yeah, I would have <laughs> I genuinely would have Over 5,000 years old, and as I said, the claims were that two, two remains was found here, I believe. That is why I was able to uh, research about Bryn Cachidi, a small place in Anglesey. Whilst listening back to this, I can hear some sort of crackling, or it's, it's like this croaking sound, which... Um, I'm not too sure what it is. I'm not. I'm not saying it's paranormal, but it shouldn't usually be there because in in the rest of the footage, the the sound doesn't exist. So I'm not too sure why it's there now. So that that's something to take into consideration. That it, it's it's picked up something, but we're not sure what. Compared to like my height, which isn't very tall. So it was farmers' abilities. They're farmers five thousand years ago. Just to know like when. I think it's like if you stand over here. Up in the morning. Yeah. Like to like, you, could, you could see the sun coming up in between that. Oh, okay. Something. So, and they knew like that's the time of the they know that um, they can plant crops again, hasn't it? Okay. I'm not sure. This is like the first century, and then you can get. Um, Baron Hill, which is like 60 years old, which you could get someone from the 1940s saying, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite cool how you got that differences between times. What you're currently looking at is a picture of an orb Orbs are often confused with lens flares, etc., um, reflections, and if the sun is pointing towards your camera. The reason I've got this picture on is now this is orbs from the so-called Shining House from the the book and film, etc. And these orbs look very similar to what I've just captured. If you didn't see it, I'm going to play it in slow motion now. But please let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs>
we're currently recording our voices through this and hoping that some, some anything heard during the EVP session, if there will be anything heard, will be played shortly after this clip. So please carry on listening and hopefully we would have caught something. On the beautiful island of Anglesey in Wales. Before we move on to a different location, a few different locations today. Um, it's also doing a man. Such a place in day with a name. Okay, please. What is your name? This is the end of the investigation of Brinkley Day, and what what we can uh, summarise is that we think an orb was caught. I've I've slowed that down, and it's in the, it's in like the bottom half of the frame, so you should be able to see that slowed down. Uh, nothing was heard on the EVP, unfortunately, having listened thoroughly with the best headphones that I can find, uh, I could not hear anything at all. However, it was not a complete disappointment, as we felt like that something was there, but there was nothing, nothing to fear. Uh, but an orb was caught, we believe, so that can conclude a positive first investigation of Brinkashidi. Iron Hill Mansion was built by Sir Richard Buckley in 1618. It's supposedly he asked King Charles I to take possession of this house and there's an apparent picture of King Charles I at the house that I will show in the next set of pictures. The house was reconstructed in 1776 by architect Samuel Wyatt. During the First World War, it was impossible for the family to keep on maintaining the house as so much death made the family ruin their fortune, basically. Uh, during the war, royal engineers were stationed at the house. The mansion was given to the government and, and was used as temporary housing for Polish soldiers, but the Polish soldiers found the home too cold and decided to start a fire. With this, the fire spread and destroyed a large part of the mansion. Soldiers were removed out of the house and eventually Baron Hill was left abandoned as there was almost nothing left after this fire. Baron Hill remains in Bumaris on the Isle of Anglesey and is available to get to to see. However, it's a long trek through the forest that you will see us make now. Enjoy. The entrance to uh, Baron Hill Mansion in Bumaris on the Isle of Anglesey. Apparently, very intense place to be. If you want, it's like a to lead the way, Sean. Yeah. If you want to cop those, this hoodie, it's a concept, but the real ones are for sale on Arvortir. There will be a link in the description. I think it's just a barrier, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a tank. What's a tank in it? Pass it. I don't really want to go up to it to actually. Do we have to pass it? How do you get there? We stumbled upon a tent in the middle of the forest here, which obviously sounds, you know, alarm bells are ringing in our heads right now, thinking, oh, what if someone's in there? Best to avoid it and avoid a sticky situation. So we plan to go around instead and try and avoid whoever was in that tent, if it was, because it looks pretty new. The journey to Baron Hill is muddy, dangerous, and if you're going in the night, it's almost impossible to see where you're going, as we discovered later on, but we thought we'd go there after, but we planned on somewhere else instead. Um, there are twigs everywhere, dangerous branches, and tons and tons of bees and wasps, so if you do plan on entering this place, please be prepared, because you're going to face things that maybe you haven't faced before, and 
it is a very intense place and the walk there you feel the intenseness getting bigger and bigger every time you take a step closer so the walk there is not for the faint-hearted either uh, okay you see like some walls so why was it abandoned um, i'm not sure i think it's just old bankrupt bankrupt yeah like oh, okay. like Things like owned by the back of the estate. Ah, okay. And then maybe find them blasted. Fair enough. Now the building's that. Yeah? That's the odd, um... The first building that we've seen. Or what's left of it, anyway. I'm here to uh, find a reason for everything, mate. So, I heard that, whatever what? that was. There was a noise then. Someone dragging something. Should we go in? Bird. Let's go, Sniffer, mate. Let's go in. Hmm? Okay, so these are the outbuildings. That's the building that's from like four stables or whatever. Um, Oh wow. Bird going through twigs, mate. Go down here first, or do you want to go up to the house first and then work our way back? Work our way back, yeah. yeah I think that'll be better. In case we'll be coming down this way anyway. In case we run short on time. The top of the stairs, I'd imagine. Yeah, I can see the roof. Really? Yeah. I didn't wear my best clothes. Hmm? Didn't wear my best clothes. I'll take these off when I get in your car. This is where we were. This is what we'll call you. Yeah. yeah. That's part of the old house. It's been there for like 70 years. I've walked on worse beams and work. <laughs> I see, see all like cables and stuff. Nuts. Difficult. Oh no, I say. Go around and take, take pictures. I think if we go, yeah, round that way, keep going forward. Round to the left, 
there. Left. Yeah, it's there. Oh no, that's wrong. I stood in some of them, How do you focus it? should do anyway, mate. If you take the picture, it should just automatic. It'll look blurry on that, but it'll be fine in real life. You can go in. That's quite nice room. Too quiet. Yeah. What I will say is, uh, what I may have caught from the corner of my eye, I felt like I saw something go across here. My camera was pointing there, so I might have caught it. But it could just be my mind playing tricks on me. Oh, someone just pulled the back of my hair on my head. It was twig, mate. No, I've got shivers right down my fucking back. Hit it. Yeah, that's a footstep. Is there anyone here? With us? That's a leaf. Yeah. If it raises, we don't. What do you say? Me any harm? Yeah. All disrespect. I just want to prove that. You're here. You're here and we're not crazy. It's that way. <laughs> So, if there's anyone here. Even if it's just teenage kids wanting to play a prank on us. Yeah, so <laughs> years after this. Didn't laugh. These things don't look safe, do you want to? Right. Huh? These beams. Yeah. <laughs> Like a nail, it? That's what these boots are for, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't like it? Probably was. Fireplaces, maybe. Through all these <laughs> Won't take that long. No. 
something will catch our eye, you know. What's the use? This one? Yeah, yeah. No, not me. Wow. Have you like a before and after photos? Yeah. Because there's loads of pictures on Facebook of how it used to look. Yeah. Um, Got it. Yeah. Barnhill Mansion up to this point was a bit of a letdown as we hadn't really had any concrete evidence of anything being there. It was just the feelings of not being wanted there by something or someone. We felt like there was something there but it didn't want to do anything, that type of feeling we had. Um, but from here out, a little bit more things start to happen that are a bit unexplainable but you can decide yourself whether you think it's paranormal or just something you can brush off. The tree, um, I think my mate look, was looking, and it was this tree, like, a hundred years later. Yeah. This one on, the, on the, my left here. Um. So, this right here was a staircase that led up to the uh, mansion itself, and this is the of the mansion or what's left of it more like. Yeah, it's too quiet. Yeah. It's too quiet. Can we go around the front? Yeah, why not? All right. A squeak is heard behind us, like a door squeak opening or closing. And behind us, in the old days, there used to be really old outbuildings. And there are no doors anywhere, but we were certain that we heard a door squeaking. What do you think? All right. All right. All right. That sounds like a door opening. I must have caught that. I must have caught that. Sound like a door opening. Yeah. It? Or just a tree like squeaking. But why haven't we heard that? Happened again. The entire time we've been here, nothing's happened. And then we hear that. Do I sit down here and just have a little chat? We can sit on that tree over there, the one that's on its side. Yeah. You know, closer to where the noise came from. As we sat down to talk about what we just heard, and we went over the footage to see if we could hear it, which we could slightly, so hopefully it's, it's enhanced better for everyone to hear now. We heard like a scream for help, a woman's cry, but we weren't able to pick it up as we were looking over the footage at the time. Someone's help. Help. That's could, far. could be teenagers or something. Could be anybody here to be honest. I'm gonna zoom more into over there. Okay. I used to look at it. 
these fields and all that. It's the front of the mansion. Yeah. All decayed, overgrown, forgotten about. Shame with it because this would make such a nice place to live now. What? This makes such a nice place for somebody to live now, yeah. Well, whoa. Oh. Hey. No, I heard something then. What? Somebody talking. I thought I heard something. I, m I must have just been hearing things. It's going to pass. A good hour left. It's going to be so scary at night. I think one thing um, we should have, I'm like a sceptic. That's me. Yeah, but like, you wouldn't do this, so you didn't have a thought or something like that. That was where I took a picture of Cameron. And the thing was in the door, yeah. Not me. Good. Sean took that photo and unexpectedly found that there was something, a face of some sort on show above his friend Cameron's left shoulder. Cameron's a very tall individual, must be six foot or over. I've had something to be about the same height as him over the shoulder was something that he didn't expect to see. In no way has this image been tampered with, it's exactly how it's been given to me. I've seen the proof on Sean's phone and we tried to recreate it, but here are the pictures that we took as well. And you will see that there are no resemblances and we have no idea we tried to debunk it in every way possible but we have no idea if it's paranormal or what that'll be up for you to decide let us know in the comments below what you're about to see is an emf detector emf stands for electromagnetic fields it basically the lights flash if there's any energy sources nearby and usually a spirit uses energy to come into contact with us so therefore if a spirit was to go up to the device it would light up that's the theory behind it we'll see now was it starting to ask some questions things like that and ask it to flash the device for yes and not to for no etc we gave this a go let's see how it went is there anyone here um if there is can you give us a knock if there's not don't Can you throw something? There must be somebody walking about out there, you know. Why? I can hear like walking about out there. I keep playing that. I'm not on the thing. It was a bird. Yeah. Taking there's no one here with us then. We've been talking to ourselves. Do you not want to help us prove you're still here? Less people might come here if they knew you were still here. Walk up to my friend, touch the device next to him.
and just like that our investigation of the Baron Hill mansion came to an end with no real spikes or anything like that from the EMF meter we decided to call it a day as we had to head to a night location um, at Penmont Priory uh, with the history behind the place we were a bit disappointed with all the findings a few knocks a door closing etc and some things that we hadn't picked up on camera or on audio it was quite disappointing and if you would like to see us return in the night with a guest medium with us then please let us know in the comments below and give us a like on this video Penmont Prairie dates back to over 1,000 years ago. There are claims that some of the parts were built in the 10th century and further in the 11th, 12th and 13th. And there's history bef uh, after that also. The claims in Penmont Priory is that people have seen monks enter the building and leave the building. Some have seen monks come up to a car and check through the window as to see why it was there or what it was. The building is so old that it was held by Saint Cyril, dating back all the way to the 6th century. We have many years to look at, many different people that have passed through there over the years. So will this be the most energetic building that we've been to during this time? We hope that we find a lot of activity and that you enjoy our investigation of Penmont Priory. We are in Penmont Priory for our night investigation. I'm joined by Joseph and Sean, and we're going to see what we can catch EVP wise, EMF, whatever we can possibly get. We were going to go to Baron Hill, but figured this was a better location at night time because then we don't have to go through a forest and probably cut ourselves and fall. <laughs> so we're going to give this a shot and let's see what we can find. <clears throat> Joseph, Ryan, and uh, I'm going to try to look at you. I'm going to look at you with Tiffany. I'm going to look at you with Tiffany. I'm going to look at you with Tiffany. I'm going to look at you with Joseph. I'm going to look at you with Tiffany. I'm going to look at you with Tiffany. Over in the far end is an EMF detector that will help us know that you're with us. If you were to approach that device, it will light up. The closer you get, the more lights it'll do. If you walk up to that device and touch it, it will light up and we'll know that you're here with us. Mi ddaeth o oleio i fyny at goch dy bynnu pam o agos da chi'n mynd. Os da chi'n cyffwrdd oedd hynny, da ni'n gwybod da chi'n mae hefo ni. Os da ni'n ddi cael gwybod, bwys y hefo ni. Another orb-like thing crosses from top to bottom across the DSLR screen. If you see it, let me know in the comments what you think it is. Os da chi'n mynd i'r gwybod oedd hynny, plîs? Os gwelwch yn dda. Can you touch the device with the green light on it in the far end for us, please? As a sign that you are here with us. Yeah, sure, camera light does work. It's out. Look, 
Can you light it up just once for us? I do know what you mean. Having had no luck on the uh, EMF detector in this part of the Penmont Priory, we decided to move on to another part of the Priory. After hearing just a couple of noises and movements, nothing caught yet except for that one orb, we decided to head to the other part of the building. Um, Ryan, Joseph, Abby, Deshaun. Um, I'm on a car, heavily headed. Were you a monk? If, I am. if so, approach the device in the doorway and we will know of your existence and that you are here with us tonight. The closer you get to the device, the more colours we'll see. If you approach this green light, we'll know you're here and we'll be able to communicate with you. We mean no harm. We wish to communicate only. Did you live here? Make the device light up all the way and we'll leave all the way to red. You need to be really trying hard to light that device all the way. We know you can do it, you've spiked it for us a few times. you moving that paper in the corner, could you walk towards the device with the green light on it please? Can you make it flash consistently for us? Stay next to the device once you've lit it up for 10 seconds, 5 even. Use our energy to be able to light up the device. Or use the energy from the batteries from the equipment that we've got. Light, oh, okay. Please, light, oh, okay. Please, light, oh, okay. Please, light, oh, okay. Please, light, 
Prior to these questions having had a huge spike, went on the dry patch for about 10 minutes where we heard absolutely nothing and saw nothing, didn't even get a spike, we decided to go down the road of asking questions about people within the times, the right times in the 14th century, we decided to go for Llewellyn, one of the Welsh leaders, to see if that would get a response and this is what happened. Light up the device, if Llewellyn was your leader. Okay. So Llewellyn was the leader. Yeah. Do you know Llewellyn personally? Light up the device for yes. Did you not know he was just your leader? Light for yes. Okay. Just the leader. Did Llewellyn ever come here? Are you able to light the device up again for me? Did you just... Were you just waiting for me to come here? Are you able to light it up one last time for us? If not, are you able to whisper, speak, shout anything into this device next to it? It is very cold over here. I just went off in my brain. It is. It is. I am. Come over here. I'm shivering. Are you the reason I'm very cold right now? Can you? Are you the reason I'm very cold right now? Can you? 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 Can you like? Yeah. Are you next to me? Are you standing where that device is right now? Which one? Ruan. I'm gonna, I, yeah. Would you like to sit next to me here? Do you want to sit next to me here? Do you want to sit next to me here? I can't see the light at all now. I can't see the light though. I can't see it on this though. Hang on, I see it now. Are you sitting next to me? The genies of the Thomalve? Come and sit next to me. Come sit where this device is. Do Christa Thomalve? Shema Teklinama, Do Christa. Then go put him the Hema within. Doch ich hatte Kopf in Ewe. Come keep me company. The others have left me. I want someone to talk to, to communicate with. Are you still here? That happened to be the last piece of paranormal experiences that we had that night as they must have just used all their energy and or did not want to communicate anymore with us. However, we had a very successful night with lots of whistles, humming noises and many of the things caught on the EMF device. If you believe in this, we think that it's proof that, you know, we were communicating with somebody that is no longer with us. And we had one of the most amazing experiences of our lives taking part in this investigation to finish off i'm gonna have some leave some i'm gonna have some photos play of what i took throughout the night in penmon priory penmon you were an absolute star to us and we hope to return again and catch even more one day
should you want to see us do Baron Hill at night, leave a like, comment down below if you want us to do it with a guest medium, as we do no one that's willing to take us, and don't forget to subscribe for more future content like this. Thank you.